Police in Cobb County still searching for a shooter after shots were fired on the McEachern High School campus Thursday. One teenager already behind bars. 24 hours later, the school went into lockdown. Well, today it resumed a normal class schedule. Atlanta News First reporter Patrick Quinn has the latest from Powder Springs as the school community copes with the latest threat of gun violence. And I spoke with one mom off camera. She told me her son had to hide in the locker room while this investigation was ongoing. Now classes were back to normal today. She recognized it will take more than 24 hours for her family to process everything that happened here. Added police present here at McEachern High School. We're told more school counselors were also on hand a day after two people, non-students, were shot in the Cobb County High School parking lot. Cobb County Police credited this video. Oh, oh, oh. Which made the rounds on social media with helping them find and arrest one suspected gunman, 17-year-old Scott Four of Powder Springs. Police are still looking for a second person who they say pulled out a gun. Police say some involved in the fight were students. We're talking about a broad social problem that extends well beyond this school. The Cobb County DA, Flynn Brody, told me they're working to mitigate this issue of gun violence among teens, telling me in an email, quote, this effort will require the full effort of our county elected leaders, parents, mentors, and our faith-based community to combat this problem. From a police department's perspective, our children are our most precious resource. We don't want guns to be on our campus, and, uh, and I believe that's a universal um, belief that we want to keep our campuses safe. Police do not know the motive behind the shooting or why the two non-students who were shot were on campus. Police stressed this was a quote focused fight and they were grateful there wasn't a greater threat to the school community. I just thank God that that it wasn't more serious. Now police say of the two people who were shot, one was shot in the leg, the other shot in the arm. Both are expected to be okay. Now I reached out to the school district on if they'll make any security changes to potentially prevent people who are armed to get on campus. They told me they cannot release any of their safety protocols. If you have any information on that second suspect who had a gun, you're encouraged to reach out to Cobb County Police. From Powder Springs, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First.